So today I'm going to share with you a little bit about my thoughts on security of the building. I've thought about everything when I was building this building, what I'm going to put and where in terms of like windows. So I've got one window to the rear. I've got nothing along the back wall and I've got nothing in the office side and this part. So you might excuse the bright light, just put the lights on. But what I have got around the place, I'm just putting in now, is a complete network of cameras. Someone was asking me the other day what my thoughts on what was I doing. And I mentioned to you the other week that I'm putting a fiber optic link in. Well, I put the link in today. And what I've done is I've literally come down, chucked on four cameras in the building here. And I'll show you how that works. Just so you have some idea how easy it is to install a fiber optic link. It is a piece of cake. So I'll do my best to try and explain. So coming out the ground here is my fiber optic link. This is an LC to LC fiber cable. So I've got one upload and one download cable, two cables that go into my media converter. This is my media converter. It's a very simple piece of kit. It basically is a stream, so in and out. And at the other end, in the, in the house, and I'll show you after, I've got a send and receive the other side. So all this, all this piece of kit does at the speed of light is send data, whatever data it receives from this RJ45, which is a cable that you get on many, many pieces of kit. And this is what you have from your network cables. So the last week I put in a whole system of CAT6 cables, which are there, all that kind of stuff. And this is shielded CAT6 cable. To give you some idea, this is what you'd use for network cable, okay? But that is rated at one gigabit. So if my speed of the internet I get is one gigabit when it finally arrives, I will have a very high speed of Wi-Fi in my shed. But that doesn't matter because as long as it's more than what I had before, it will be fine. Let's try and get you some focus. There we go. So I plug these cameras in, literally thrown them in. There's one there. These are ceiling cameras. I've bought a rear link kit. There's the rear link make. I bought a rear link kit. I've literally just thrown them in. So I got the cameras out of the box. You can see it's a mess, but that is my fiber link. I wanted to check it was working before I put all the tubes away and all the cables. So I've got a camera in that corner over there. I've got a camera there, which I've just shown you, and I've got two other cameras in here. I've got four cameras connected up, one on top of my extraction machine, and one over here facing outwards to outside, which is, where did I put it? There it is, over there. So it's on top of that. I've literally just thrown them in because I wanted to see how it worked. And the reason why I wanted to see how it worked is these cameras are all PoE, okay? Which means power over ethernet. It means they run on CAT6 cables, but they have their own power from that cable. So you don't need separate power adapters. It's literally plug and play. So very briefly in my uh, Neanderthal understanding of it. Okay, this piece of kit here is my switch, okay? It's a TP-Link five port gigabit switch, okay? Which means that any information coming from or to the switch is sent via the switch to my media converter, which then sends it off down the fiber optic link, okay? It's a bit geeky, I know, but this is what it's all about. It's all that fiber optic link is just a stream backwards and forwards of all the information that these cameras are sending. So. This switch I actually initially bought to go in the house, so I've literally unboxed it, plugged it in, and I just wanted to see that four cameras would work on this, because this switch actually powers the four cameras, because it's a PoE switch, and it's a non-managed switch, so it's what we call plug and play. And the great thing about it is, you literally plug it in, and it plays. So I've got four switches on this, and the fifth one is the all the information that goes out to my media converter, which streams the information back to the house. So a very simple setup, but this switch I wanted to use today to see if it would run four cameras. The reason why is I've actually got a much bigger switch that will, I'll be using in here when I get all the other equipment installed. And that's the thing with this. There's a lot of things in this honey house that are gonna be running on 
Wi-Fi and running on um, power over Ethernet. Not just the cameras, there'll be other things I put in that I can use to monitor what's going like humidity, stuff like that. Um, so long story short, that's my spare cable, plenty of cable this time, so I can, I can actually have these switches somewhere around here and not have to worry about moving it when I'm ready. And I kept two other cables in that came up with the fiber. So that is to the parking area and that is to the other side of the parking. So one's the left, one's the right. That will do cameras on the pad if I want, but the cables are in and I can use it for other things. So let's go up to the house and I'll show you what I've got the other end. I just wanted to show you the slab as well because it's been pouring down and there's not a single puddle on this slab. I'm absolutely delighted with it. So really, really pleased. The guys did a great job and it's now functional. I've got to get gravel yet to build up the front entrance there and the side so that I can drive on and off. But I'm in no hurry because I really wanted to give it at least a week and a half to two weeks to really dry that solid set. So it's ready to go. And I've also, that was one of the Cat6 cables I just mentioned, so I can have a camera there if I want. That's Cat6 to that point, which is brilliant, which turns up there. That's the other system that used to go up to the house because, it, remember, it wasn't long enough and I had to redo that and it's been taken over by the fibre. But I'm going to put a camera there anyway, which is great because this way is the prevailing wind coming in towards me. So the camera will be generally dry all the time. And it will be a perfect side to site it. So that goes under the floor here, all the way into the building where I've just shown you. And I've also got a PTZ camera that's gonna go on the corner of the building up there. And that will mean that anyone who comes to the rear of the building from the far side will be picked up by the camera because it's, um, it's uh, automatic um, recognition and it activates when it finds something and then it will do the whole of this side as well, which is pretty awesome because security is really important. So this is today where we managed to run the fibre cable through. That's the green fibre there. I've got actually a 150 metre cable. So it comes in there, goes out there, but I've got to cut a tube to go on top of this now and then fill it all back in, but it's done. But everything is great. So then it comes underground here all the way up to up here. You can hear that weather is really ghastly, but it's mild. Really, really nice mild weather now. We've had a lot of rain, which is what we needed big thing about this is that it works and I'm super delighted because I spend so much time today getting all the cables in and to, to have a problem with it when it doesn't plug and play trying to find the issues can be a nightmare so that's the green tube that is just a branch because that's where I had the issue with the cave the conduit was broken but there is a emerging fiber optic cable that goes then off to the house it goes in the gable end wall of the house and also I have a, a Cat6 cable that will be for a camera here or if I don't want to put anything in just now, I don't have to, but I'm probably going to put a security camera that focuses on the entrance to the land. So no one can move here without being picked up. So let's go inside. So we are in the house and I'm literally, as I said before, I've just thrown this together to check it's going to work. So that's my rear link player. And what you do is you connect the other end of your player of your media converter, which is my fiber optic. So the fiber optic comes in this green cable, goes into the media converter, and then it spouts it out to an RJ45. That then takes that information to the back of the media or the rear link media system. It's actually, I think the terminology is DVR, digital video recorder, but it's more than that. It's all power over ethernet. So it will basically, when I plug in a camera there, up they come here. And I just cannot believe the clarity of those cameras. And now it's dark in there, and this is what it's picking up on its own. Okay, there's one light in there that doesn't do a great deal, but uh, I am super impressed by this already. It means that I can solidify everything, put all my cameras into proper places bit by bit. It's gonna take a while. And there's also a network, the whole network will run around the house. But the plug and play thing is absolutely so cool because it means wherever you add a camera within the network, it picks it up itself. So whether it's from this, from the four cameras that are down there now running on this, that go back by one connector, on the back here, I've got another load of ports to take another load of cameras. So that'll be the cameras from the house from this side. But as long as they're on the network, it'll all be picked up. So it's a super, super easy plug and play thing.
there you go. Security is important. If someone broke in there, at least I'd see what they're up to in the shed. I'm gonna be fixing all the cameras in pretty shortly, but it was just to show you how I've done mine. So it just shows you what you can do yourself. I, I am literally not a tech-minded person. I'm just, Ollie, I have to say Ollie from Ollie's Farm, as well as showing me what to do with the honey house, he's also shown me how to build a network around the house. It's self-explanatory, but once you get into it, there's so much stuff out there, you just have to spend the time learning about internet, about networking, about Cat6 cable. It's all there ready for you to learn. It's honestly, you can boost your security around your house so easily with just a few simple things. And all of those cameras run on like peanuts. I think it's like 5.5 volts that goes into that switch down there. And I have got other switches here. This is the switch that will go into the um, main honey house. And that gives me loads and loads of switches that I can use. And this is like running at quite, this is 115 watts. So it can run all the cameras easily, but they won't be up here. There'll also be another switch up here. The smaller one will come back up here but I've just literally thrown it on to try it out, but it works. And that to me is a major boost because I've been thinking about this, planning it for months, and now I know it works and look at the result. I've got the security there. Absolutely fantastic. So anyway, catch you later. Geek mode, signing out. We're gonna do bees this week. Hopefully get some beekeeping done. We're nice and mild. We've got that rain onwards and upwards. Bye for now.